Ghostly greetings, and it is your boy Prue. Holler at me. We're talking about Jeff Strand's The Haunted Forest Tour. I know we're in the kitchen. Uh, my cat is upstairs, and she's being kind of loud, so I thought I'm just going to come down here, and we'll do a real quickie Jeff Strand review. Uh, the Haunted Forest Tour, the general plot is one day this forest just springs out of nowhere, and a few years later, this company decides they're going to put tours going through the forest, and one day, the forest tour goes backwards, goes haywire, some of the uh, monsters attack. And it's cool because while you're on this tour, it's kind of like Jurassic Park, but instead of like T-Rex or Stegosaurus, it's werewolf, zombies, unknown beasties. There's a fucking dragon, fucking ogres. And it's a lot of fun, especially watching like the groups deteriorate emotionally and physically. And it's just very gory. There's a lot of gore. A uh, big issue I had with some of the demons and stuff, they didn't describe too well. So you didn't know, like, what a proof demon was or anything like that. But I did enjoy, like, they're trying to get in the bus and they all start firing. And I had a few really fun moments with stuff like that. So the book was indeed just a very fun read. It's a little thicker than it needs to, but this was an amazingly fun read. I'm so happy I got to do a Jeff Strand finally. And I'm going to do more Jeff Strand for sure, 100%. He's got a zombie book. Your boy Prue loves zombies. And I'm just excited to do more stuff like that. And, like, this book was written well. It was a fun, fast read. The Haunted Forest Tour. I will say the ending does get a little wonky and weird. And it starts off with this dude who just works too many hours. And then he might lose his job. And it turns out that eventually he grows a little fucking balls and just... I really relate to the main character because I work a lot of hours at my job and stuff like that. And it turns out, like, you know, always at the end of the week, you're always worried about stuff. And you want to quit your job, but you can't because you got money. But then you're put in a situation where you're like, man, something might eat me. And you have to just, and you grow some confidence. So it starts really helping that, uh, what's going on in his life. And I really appreciate that. So I really related to the main character. And he was just trying to protect his mom. And there's other people. There's a part where they're hiding out in like an old building, which seemed very reminiscent of them hiding out in the Stegosaurus pen in Jurassic Park. This has a lot of references like to like Jurassic Park with stuff like, oh, a T-Rex. There's a giant dragon eating something or be careful of a ghost going through the, you know, car or stuff like that. And it was a lot of fun. My favorite monster was just a giant severed rolling head Pulling down a hill, and I just thought, you know what? That's just indeed an image towards hell. I don't want to spoil like why everything's going on, but they do tell you why the forest started and what's going on. But it was just a fun, great read, and I really enjoyed it. This is your boy Prue. Thanks for watching. Stay creepy.